All right, guys, in this video, we're gonna be going through how to mobilize or pump your low back. And so we use the mobility cushion for this. Um, you should have received one of these, and if you opted not to do it, you can find little mobility cushion on Amazon. You can always get, a, get that and purchase it anywhere. But the whole reason why we're doing this is it's all about healthy motion in our low back. We need healthy motion in the joints in our spine because these shock absorbers that we have between our bones, they lose their direct blood supply somewhere between the age of 21 and 24 when your prefrontal cortex fully develops, you lose direct blood supply to these discs and these shock absorber discs in between the bones are 88% water. So when that happens, they start dehydrating and when you go to sleep at night, your body you think would hydrate those discs but actually what happens is they dehydrate because motion is what's gonna help your body from that point onward in life hydrate or fill those discs with water and nutrients. So they're 88% water, they need the nutrients and the water put back into them. So one of the best times to do this exercise is first thing in the morning, you're bringing local focused motion into your low back and you're bringing your low back discs, those shock absorbers through a healthy pumping motion. And so the healthy pumping motion itself, if you were to zoom in, would look something like this, where you're bringing that bone through a nice, full, exaggerated, controlled range of motion. And that's gonna stimulate your body's imbibition, is what the process is called, where it brings water and nutrients to that disc and helps to heal it and rehydrate it. So, first part of this is gonna be sitting on the wobble cushion. You wanna find yourself a nice hard surface chair that you can use to do this exercise. You're gonna be tailbone, middle part of the buttocks, ideally all of your spine weight position so that you're sitting directly on top of the mobility cushion. And the spikes for the mobility cushion, ideally you want those to be facing downward. Now, the thing with this is you wanna start by doing a forward to backward rocking motion. And with this motion, the more of the spine you get involved, the better, because it's gonna be beneficial to get the upper and upper part of the back and the neck involved as well. So it's a forward rocking motion and then a backward rocking motion. You wanna focus this all on the low back. And when you're doing this exercise with the forward to backward rocking motion, it's all about translating the hips forward and backward, forward and backward. And it's slow, exaggerated motion, so this isn't learning your dance moves when you're doing this. Um, the way that you can get the rest of your spine involved with this is simply as you translate your hips forward and you arc that low back, you're gonna bring your shoulder blades together behind you, look up to the sky. So it's all one functional motion. Then you're gonna do everything the opposite where you reach in front of you, heels are gonna come up on the floor and your hips rock back and you arc the middle part of your back. Then we're gonna come back forward and then we're gonna keep going through this forward to backward motion and arcing the low back, translating the hips forward, rocking back and forward. And so ideally you wanna do about 30 reps of this in the morning, 30 reps of it in the evening right before you go to bed. So this is all focused, exaggerated, controlled motion in that low back. Cool? Then the next part of this is gonna be a side to side motion. And the easiest way, if you're an older individual or even a younger individual, a lot of us discover when we start doing this exercise that like, we don't have the mobility that we think we do. Um, me being one of them. So you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna put it mid thigh, and then you're gonna try and take your elbow, touch that elbow to your hip bone, not by bending to the side, but by rocking your hips to the side. So that's a great starter position for the side to side motion. Now, bones in your low back have the ability to rotate, which is twisting side to side, bend, which is what we're doing right now, side to side, and if you want to exaggerate that, you can bring the elbows up to the sides and really bend your torso and your head in the direction that you're going so you get your upper back and your neck involved as well. So remember, this is like flossing your teeth Everybody should be doing this. It's helping to rehydrate the discs in your spine, 
which makes you less prone to injury, makes you less prone to pull and spasm muscles, and it's going to keep the discs really well hydrated so that you're less prone to dehydrate, um, degenerate, and herniate the discs in your spine. Then the last motion on this, we're talking about how the low back does rotation. Those bones, because they rotate, are going to be the last motion. So for the rotation, there's a couple different ways that you can do this. You can simply cross your arms over your chest so your hand is in, nestled in your elbow joints right there. And you can twist to the sides. Or what I would prefer is more of a challenge. So I'm going to bring my arms sort of like a genie, right? Um, resting in this position. And then I'm going to rock my hips forward. And at the same time I rock my hips forward and arc my low back, I'm going to rotate to the right turn my head all the way behind me to the right. And then I'm going to come back to a neutral position and I'm going to do the exact opposite, but rocking my hips forward, twisting to the left. So our body always follows the positioning of our head. So a good safe way of being able to do this and minimize you maybe pulling a muscle is to turn your head in the direction you're turning your shoulders and your elbows. So all these exercises should be done in a slow, exaggerated, controlled motion. Um, if you want to dance, you can always bring this out for dancing night. But when it comes to warming up your spine, you want to focus on doing this in a controlled manner. So this is your mobility cushion exercises. You should be doing these in the morning and in the evening, just like you floss and brush your teeth.